Today I wanted to show you how to use Designscape to make a sublimation design. Designscape is Design Bundle's brand new editing software and you can get to it by going to designbundles.net slash designscape dash module. So the first thing I'm going to do is locate the file that I want and then click open. I'm going to be using a leopard background from the brand new sublimation bundle from Design Bundles. So you can see it's on a transparent background, which is what you want, but just to make it easier for me to see what I'm doing, I'm going to make a white background. So the first thing we need to do is make a new layer by clicking this little, kind of looks like a sticky note, but it's a new layer button down here. And then I'm going to hit G on my keyboard, or I'm gonna go over here to the gradient tool and I'm gonna press down and hold until the new menu pops out. And then I'm gonna hit the paint bucket tool. I already have white selected as my color, so all I need to do is click on the background and it'll fill the whole layer. So now the white layer is on top of the design. So we're gonna go over to the layers panel and we're just gonna drag it down below the background layer, which is the leopard print layer. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard or come over here and hit text tool and this will pop up the text menu. You can see that these are the fonts that come pre-installed on Designscape, but we wanna add our own custom font. I have downloaded the Wildcat font from the new Brilliant font bundle and I'm gonna hit load font and select the font that I wanna add. So I'm just gonna close out of that little tab and click it again and you should see Wildcat appear on my font list now. Since we've already selected the text tool, we're just gonna drag and drop a new box, and then we're gonna type out our word, and there's a little bit of a glitch right now where it's not showing you the words that you're typing, so you have to type it and then reselect your font. So we're gonna go up here and hit the drop down menu again and select Wildcat as the font, and then you should see it appear. It's going to be really small because this is a really large image right now, so the font is gonna have to be scaled up. I've already tested it and it looks like 1000 pixels is a good number for this specific font. And then I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard, which is the select tool or the very top arrow tool. And that's gonna allow me to move the text around. So I wanna duplicate this layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over in the layers panel and I'm gonna drag the text all the way down to that new layer icon. You can also hit Command J on your keyboard or Control J if you're on a PC, or you can go up to Layer and then Duplicate Layer. But I personally think dragging and dropping all the way down to that new layer button is the easiest way to do this. On that very top layer, I'm going to hit the Text tool or T on my keyboard. You can select everything by hitting Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC, or just dragging and selecting the whole thing. So to change the text color, we're just gonna go all the way up to the top text menu and select the black square. And I'm just gonna drag my cursor all the way up to the white and hit okay. After hitting okay, you also have to click the check mark, which confirms the changes. So everything kind of looks the same right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the top layer over a little bit so you can see that drop shadow below it. Quick tip is if you wanna move something a lot, you can hit shift and one of the arrow keys because if you're just hitting the arrow, it moves it in small increments, but the shift key helps move it along a little bit faster. So now I am selecting one of the Jessica layers and then I'm gonna hit command on my keyboard or shift if you're on a PC and I'm gonna select the other layer. And then I'm gonna hit Command G or Control G on a PC and I'm gonna group those two layers together. Or you can go up to Layer Group and it'll do the same thing. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select the group and the background layer by hitting Command or Shift to select both of them. And then I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard. Again, that's the selection tool and that will give me the menu up here to center it vertically and horizontally. And this makes sure that Jessica is centered to the leopard background. So this is exactly how I want it to look. And now all I need to do is either turn off the layer one, which was the white fill, or just delete it. So you can hit the eyeball 
and it will turn it off and it will be a transparent PNG again. So now all we need to do is export the file and we're done. So go up to file, export as PNG, and then this pop-up will come up and I'm just going to hit save and it'll download it right to my downloads folder on my computer. So that is a pretty basic sublimation design, but I just wanted to walk you through some of the basics of DesignScape and how you can use it to create your own designs.